This video will look at how to create a new drawing and add a cross section to it. It is worth pointing out that should a new drawing be needed, it is advisable to add this in the template project so it will then be available in all future projects based on this template. However, for this example, the new drawing will be added into an existing project. To create a new drawing sheet, go to the output tab and select the drawing sheet command to open the view task dialog box. In here, click the new button to be given the option of giving a new sheet a file name and title in the project document information window. A new blank drawing will open. To add a title block, right click and choose add drawing sheet and title block. In the drawing sheet properties window, there are two main options. The first is fixed sheet, which allows you to pick from predefined drawing sheets with title blocks already added. These will either be taken from the custom if the user has set up their own drawing sheet templates, or from the standard ones in the system folder. The second is the parametric sheet, where you can define the overall sheet size by setting multiples of portrait A4 sheets in both horizontal and vertical directions. There is then the option of adding in a title block for these. For this example, fixed sheet will be used, then press the select button to choose the fixed sheet to add. Once OK is clicked, this is then fixed to the cursor and can then be placed. The drawing will then be minimized whilst the cross section is created. To start, first add the cross section line. This has to be done in the 2D view. Go to Define Cross Section View. Now pick the start point and the end point of the cross section line, noting the direction of the arrow that shows the view direction. With the two points selected, confirm, and the Select Drawing Model Generation dialog box will appear. This is just to determine which model the cross section will be of. Generally, the elevations will be the architectural model, whilst the frame is the framing. Basically, this creates a separate model of each that is unique to the actual 3D model. For this example, frame.vxm will be chosen. Next, the depth of section in millimeters is required. Alternatively, zero could be used to have the section depth go on infinitely, but be aware this will increase processing time. Next, a label for the floor plan marker is needed, followed by a name of the section. With the cross section defined, go to the drawing section in the output tab. To generate the actual drawing, go back to the previous menu and update views. The view task dialog box will come up again. Again, have update views and update models selected. Then select the view and click OK. The view and model will update, which can take some time. Once it is done, the new drawing will appear. It is advisable to add dimensions in here if they are required. You can also right click and add height to add a height macro. To add the view to the drawing sheet, reopen the previously created drawing sheet and go to add drawing to sheet. Choose Elevation Section and 3D View Drawings, select the cross section, and then place using the cursor, using the tools in the contextual toolbar to move and rescale if necessary. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching.